Hello and welcome to Signal State, the episode 2. Last episode we learned how this game works and finished 5 puzzles. Today we start with Bard Lights. How many puzzles I'm gonna do I don't really know. Probably not many. 3 I suppose would be alright if they are short. Yeah, let's see what it's about. We have a Gordon again. More lights to jump start. The barn lights are a bit more complicated. They have variable intensity controls for when the horses get grumpy, I guess. I'll give it a shot. Okay, some kind of control. Can't really imagine what it's gonna be, but shouldn't be anything hard. Click on any timestamp in the AO panel to add a breakpoint. Breakpoint? That's weird how it works. Signal playback will pause at each breakpoint allowing you to visually debug your signal flow. Oh, they're expecting me to make mistakes here. Clicking on the same timestamp will remove that breakpoint. Send SRC1 to, to 1, and but with its intensity boosted by 50%. Okay, that is very easy. I think I'm gonna complete first one straight away. Oh, boosted, so 150. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can make only 100. I suppose if I can double. Wait a minute. <sighs> Boosted by 50%. Oh. Oh, it's a bit hard to realize how much I need to reduce it. I think I'm just gonna experiment. Yeah, so it reduces current. I was a bit puzzled because it has negative values as well. So it is gonna be increased. Minus 50. Oh, that works very odd. It kind of flipped everything. Okay. Got it. Well, can leave that. These doubles, the current, if I write. So it gives 20, I still 40. But I need 30. So, what is it? 
my percent? I'm not really good at percentage. Oh, it you even can't. Oh, this is bad. So basically, they should have made that pause and play same button. Boosted by 50%. Let's say it gives 6 I need, plus 3. I could actually. Okay, I got a plan. Something like this. One gives normal power, other one is reduced. And they together gives plus 50%. And second one, send SRC1 to OUT2, but with its intensity boosted by a percentage specified. So now you need new module. that percentage I need one more cable puzzles. Gordon, great job. If we find any horses, I know where to bring them now. Yeah, horse would be nice. Yeah, actually, why we fix some kind of horse, horse lights? <laughs> 
if our goal is to, you know, grow food, don't even have horses. Firmware programmer, oh, sounds hard. Maybe I should stop playing. <laughs> Before we proceed any further, we need to repair the workshop firmware programmer. A vital piece of kit for burning firmware or on some of or your more advanced modules. It's digital and operates with binary signals. The VCA is still useful though. You can use it like a gate. I don't even know what it means gate, but got it. <laughs> SRC2 is binary signal. When it's 100 volts, send SRC1. Oh, send SRC1 to out1, otherwise send 0 volts. I see. If it's 100, I send. At any other time, I give zero. So only 100 is go good to go. Was a bit hard to understand. VCAs can be used as gates. If the CV input only ever receives 100 volts or 0 volts, then the output signals will always be either 0 volts or the original input signal. Yeah, okay. I assume. Uh, this one, yeah? SRC2 is binary signal. Sounds like cable length and stuff. If I would want. Probably later at some point. I will need to redraw these things. To optimize them. But right now I'm just gonna work as I can. There you go. Simple enough. The real challenge with using VCEs as gates in this way is generating the CV signals. You need to generate a signal value that is at 100 volts when you want it, and at 0 volts at any other time, nothing in between. Well, yes, I understand that. Not always. It can get a bit tricky. You'll see soon enough. Yeah, yeah, okay. He's like trying to prove me something, you know, you know, like, you're taking it too easy, my friend. Be more serious. 
this is hard work. Power regulator. All right. Third puzzle. The power regulator on the firmware programmer is a bit more complicated. Always. It's a dual tra transistor circuit, so you have to check the binary values of two different signals. All right. So two modules. SRC and SR. C3 are binary signals, okay? When they are both 100 volts, send SRC1 to 1, otherwise send 0 volts. Oh, sounds easy. Not really sure how I'm gonna do it at the moment, but I get the main idea. I need to check both signals, and only when both are right, I'm working. Do I need two of these? Like that. So, and now this goes here. I hope I understand. Easy. Okay. Nice work, I think you understand VCAs pretty well now. Thanks. <laughs> oh, it was so fast. I will take one more puzzle. Excellent. Now the firmware programmer is working. You can get the logic modules working and give them a test. Sure, let's go. Okay, this is gonna be hard. It looks like a lot of text. If SRC and SRC2 are both 100 volts, send 100 volts to the out one. Otherwise send zero. That was the previous puzzle. If SRC1 or SRC2 are 100 volts and... Oh, no, no. Both... No, the first one, if both... If both are 100, I send 100. If only one of them is 100... Wait a minute. If SRC1 and or... SRC2 are at 100 volts, send 100 volts to OUT2, otherwise send 0 volts to OUT2. Ah, there are three different OUT outputs. If SRC1 and SRC2 both are 0 volts, send 100 volts. Okay, this is a bit complicated. Because a lot of out output. If both zero send hundred, how that gonna work? So I, I suppose SRC one and two are still binaries. They give only hundred or zero. Alright, let's start. Or and not. Oh, 
that's what they want to use now. Maybe I should have learned how to use them. But it is like programming. The logical OR is either in... If either inputs are more than 0 volts, 100 volt is output, otherwise the output is 0. Also, basically each output has an individual, like this gate. Probably need splits. Again, if both hundred send hundred, a logical or if either inputs, so or is actually for second gate. volts this module output zero volts one input if SRC 1 and 2 are both at 0 volts send 100 both so basically I need to check them both somehow just flipping so basically if I understand correctly I can take this and it's gonna flip it That's, this was hard took some brain power are really powerful you're not just doing basic math now you can change how signals flow with logic okay I think I know what you mean disconnect yeah this was hard one Ok, 
okay guys thanks for watching and i see you on the next video